Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back dito sa ating YouTube channel and welcome na naman dito sa panibago nating video na kung saan ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano gumawa ng website. So, from the previous video, ginawa natin at itinuro ko sa inyo kung paano gumawa ng website gamit yung HTML and CSS. Okay? So, kung titignan natin yung reference natin ng HTML at saka CSS, ayan, maraming mga elements na kailangan natin uh, alamin, i-consider yung about headings ayan, sa headings meron tayong anim na tag available, so heading 1 hanggang heading 6 so yung h1 defines the most important heading and h6 defines the least important heading, so yung makikita natin sa browser guys parang ganito siya ayan so, yung pinakamalaki is yung heading 1 at saka yung pinakamaliit is yung heading 6. So, hindi lang yan guys. Meron pa tayong mga paragraphs. Ayan. So, pwede natin i-add dun sa ating code para sa ating website. And of course, meron pa tayo ditong mga elements. Okay. So, meron tayong halimbawa. Meron tayong BR. Meron tayong P. H1. Hanggang H6. Meron pa tayong um, attributes. Ayan. So, meron tayong tag dito na A. Para don sa mga links. And, kailangan natin itong matutunan guys. Kung gusto natin gumawa ng maganda. At saka uh, responsive na mga websites. So, meron din tayo dito about CSS. Ayan. So, dito natin uh, ma-define yung mga colors, yung alignment ng text, yung margins, yung padding, and so on. So, marami yan guys na dapat natin alamin. So, uh, kung i-consider natin kung gagawa tayo ng website, kung magsusulat pa tayo ng ganito, yung mga marami pang elements, tsaka, you know, alignments, margins, paddings, Matag, uh, matatagalan tayo guys na makapag, you know, uh, ma-release yung website natin. So, matagal natin magawa yung website kasi kailangan natin i-consider yung being responsive ng website. Yung responsive guys is dapat yung uh, website mo is maganda siya tingnan sa desktop. Maganda din siya tingnan kung mobile phone yung gamit natin. Because yung responsive website is dapat mag -re react siya based doon sa size ng ating uh, devices. Okay? Para matulungan tayo guys para dito sa responsive at saka hindi na natin kailangan pa mag-define ng mga paddings, margins manually. So, meron tayong tinatawag dito na bootstrap. So, ito yung gagamitin natin guys para gumawa ng mas maganda at mas responsive na website. So, itong bootstrap. So, we can quickly design and customize responsive mobile first sites with bootstrap and mas madali siya guys kasi yung gagawin lang natin is uh, i-include lang natin siya doon sa ating files okay so meron na siyang mga pre-built components meron na din siyang mga powerful javascript plugins na available para dito sa bootstrap and yun yung ituturo ko sa inyo ngayon guys in this video kung paano gumawa ng website gamit itong bootstrap so, this is a step-by-step -step tutorial and gagawa tayo ng totoong website gamit ang bootstrap na uh, toolkit. Okay? So, before we start guys, uh, yung gagamitin natin na code editor is itong Visual Studio Code. And this is available for Windows, Mac, or Linux operating system. So, if you have, uh, if you are using Mac, so pwede ka mag-download uh, ng Mac na installer for Windows or Linux operating system. Now, I'm using Windows, so ito yung uh, ginagamit natin, yung Windows 64-bit uh, na user installer. So, maging itsura niya guys, ito siya, kapag na-install na natin siya. So, madali lang naman siya install kailangan lang natin i-follow yung mga instructions doon sa installation wizard. Now, ito yung itsura ng uh, Visual Studio Code. And, ang maganda dito sa Visual Studio Code guys, um, open source siya. And, um, yun, free yung uh, Visual Studio Code. Now, para makagawa tayo ng um, project, 
So, pwede tayo dito sa file and then open folder. Okay? So, yung ginawa ko dito is nilagay ko sa my documents yung mga projects ko sa Bootstrap. So, uh, meron tayong folder dito na VS Code Bootstrap. And dito pwede natin ilagay yung parang root folder ng ating website. So, for example, yung website natin is e-commerce. Or you could, you, you know, name it as um, portfolio or something. So, e-commerce yung napili ko guys. And um, select folder. I think tama naman yung spelling. So, e-commerce and select folder. So, basically, after nyan, uh, ito na yung makikita natin. Uh, we're inside the e-commerce folder now. So, dito natin i-add yung mga files na kailangan natin. So, yung pinakauna, of course, is yung uh, HTML na index. Index.html. So, kailangan lang natin i-click to. New file. And then, sabihin natin dito, index.html. Okay? And, of course, dito sa right side, dito natin isusulat yung mga elements na kailangan natin. Okay? So, elements, for example, yung mga tags, H, um, H1, paragraph, and so on. So, yung advantage nga pala ng Bootstrap, guys, um, Bootstrap is a free front-end framework na mas mapapadali at mas madali na mag-develop ng mga websites. And Bootstrap, meron na siyang HTML, meron na siyang CSS, meron na siyang templates for typography, forms, yung mga buttons, tables, navigations, mga model dialogs, mga image, marami pang iba guys na naka-template na dito sa Bootstrap. Yun nga, mas mapapadali yung development natin. So, Bootstrap also gives the ability to easily create responsive designs. So, yun, hindi na natin kailangan pa na uh, i-manually code yung mga responsive na mga uh, media queries or yung mga CSS para maging responsive yung um, website natin. So, hinahandle na yan ng bootstrap na toolkit. So, basically, yung uh, dapat lang natin i-add dito is, of course, yung type of, for example, type of document. So, basically, yung just like from the previous video natin, kailangan natin ng tag na HTML and Of course, before that, try natin dito yung doc type or doc type na uh, keyword tag. So, yung gusto natin is HTML. Okay? And of course, guys, sa HTML, meron tayong different na um, elements din na pwedeng i-add. So, meron tayong yung number one is head. Okay? And, meron din tayong body. So, ito yung basic structure ng, ano guys, ng website. Meron tayong head, tsaka meron tayong body. Now, dito sa head, ito yung mga uh, files or CSS or JavaScripts. And, ito yung mga Lagay natin dito, not visible. For users. So, ibig sabihin guys, kapag nag-visit yung mga visitor doon sa ating website, sa ating website, uh, hindi nila makikita yung mga elements or yung mga code na andito sa head na tag. So, basically, pwede natin include dito yung CSS, yung JavaScripts, yung mga images, and so on. So, hindi yan makikita ng um, users. And dito sa body naman, ito yung element or ito yung aspect na hindi makikita or I mean makikita visible for users. So, ito yung parang front end talaga ng website natin. Ito yung mga elements na pwede makita ng website or I mean users every time na mag-revisit sila doon sa ating Uh, website natin. Okay? So, basically, guys, yung bootstrap nga pala, meron, meron siyang different na 
pamamaraan kung paano natin siya ma-include doon sa ating um, website. Okay? So, pwede natin siyang i-download. So, punta tayo dito sa... Sana ba yun? Ayan. Pwede natin siyang i-download dito. For example, punta tayo dito sa download. So, pwede natin siyang i-download yung mga compiled and minified um, CSS bundles. And of course, yung mga JavaScript plugins and so on. And pwede natin siyang i-include doon sa ating um, files. Pero yung mas madali guys is yung gagamit tayo, uh, gagamit tayo ng Bootstrap CDN or yung mga content de uh, delivery network. So yung gagawin lang natin is kailangan lang natin kopyahin yung uh, ito. Kopyahin natin yan. So balik tayo sa code editor natin and dito natin siya ilalagay sa taas. So, pwede natin siya i-close. Ayan. So, this will be our bootstrap. Bootstrap CDN. Ayan. So, ito yung mga CSS. Ayan. Dito natin makikita yung uh, lahat ng mga colors, lahat ng mga padding, margins, mga pre-built na mga styles para sa atin. At saka ito rin. Uh, bootstrap main.js yung mga javascript na needed para sa uh, bootstrap na website. So, basically after nyan, pwede na tayong gumawa ng uh, bootstrap website. Okay? So, para makagawa tayo ng uh, bootstrap, or I mean yeah, bootstrap website, yung example natin dito is tingnan natin na Halimbawa, yung um, paragraph, hello world. Okay. And yun guys, sa uh, head pala, pwede natin siya lagyan ng title. So basically, yung title is yun yung title ng ating page. For example, lagyan natin ng title, hello world. Pero yung nakalagay dun sa ating um, folder is e-commerce. Okay. So, e-commerce yung title. And then, hello world. Meron tayo dito sa page natin. So, save. And, putan tayo sa ating browser. Okay. My documents. And then, yung VS Code na bootstrap. And ito na yung file natin na index.html. So, all we have to do, guys, is open it with a certain browser. So, you can use Firefox, Chrome, or Internet Explorer. So, gagana yan, guys, sa most browser, yung bootstrap. So, basically, guys, ito yung itsura niya. Okay. So, ito siya yung title natin na e-commerce. And meron tayo dito ng Hello World na uh, paragraph. Yan yung makikita natin sa output ng ating uh, website. So basically guys, after nyan, meron tayong option dito. So kung nakikita nyo guys, yung Hello World natin is andito siya sa gilid. Ayan. So number one requirement ng Bootstrap is gagamit tayo ng um, isang tag na tinatawag na div. Okay? And meron siya dapat class na container. Okay? Save natin yan and refresh natin yung page natin. So, hindi siya gumana kasi dapat natin siya ilagay dito sa loob ng div natin. Yung um, tag natin na paragraph. Ayan. So, save and go back to our browser. And ayan kalagay na dito or at least meron na siyang intention yung hello world natin na paragraph. So basically guys, pwede na tayo dito mag-define ng mga different elements, um magde-define lang tayo dito ng mga tags na kailangan natin. So basically guys, yung Bootstrap meron silang tinatawag na grid system. 
So, yung grid system, guys, um, meron siyang, yung bootstrap meron siyang built na flex box and nag allow siya ng 12 columns across the page. So, basically, kung gusto mong i-position yung mga elements mo within the page, you have to use the grid system. So, maglalagay tayo dito ngayon ng example ng uh, grid. So, for example, meron na tayo dito ang class container. Um, yung gagawin natin ngayon is magdadagdag tayo ng div na merong class na row. Okay? So, inside ng uh, row na ito, pwede tayo maglagay ng column. Cancel natin yan. Column. So, div and then yung class na column. So, for example, um, yung keyword na col, yung short for column. So, meron tayong, uh, for example, maliit lang or sm small dash uh, for example 6 uh, nga pala guys yung sa grid system ng bootstrap kailangan yung total ng number dito is uh, 12 para sa entire page okay so if you want to position your elements within the same line so you have to make sure na yung total ng element within the row is 12 so, basically for now, let's try this. Meron tayo ditong column small na 6. Pwede natin siya i-duplicate. Um, so, kopyahin lang natin yan. And, insert natin siya dito sa baba. So, bali, dalawang column 6 na yan. And, yung total niya is um, 12, of course. So, basically, sa loob nito, kaila, uh, pwede natin lagyan yan ng another element, so for example, a paragraph. So, this is column 1, and paste lang natin siya dito sa column 2. Ayan. So, uh, bali yung magiging itsura niya, guys, yung column 1, ayan, ito siya, at saka yung column 2. So, side by, uh, side, by side yan, titingnan natin yung output dito sa ating website. So, ayan, meron tayo ditong column 1, and meron tayong column 2. So, basically guys, na-take up nila yung space na, ayun, yung value na 12. So, this column 1 takes like 6 na parang value dito sa ating grid. And meron tayong um, another 6. So, yung total niya is um, 12. So, nagtataka kayo guys na hindi naman siya parang centered within the page. That's because yung text na nilagay natin is naka-align left siya. So, basically, yung grid system natin is nag-start siya dito. Ayan. So, meron tayong hello world. So, within that boundary, guys, nag-start yung column 1 natin. And, yung column 2, nag-start siya dito. Uh, before the C na uh, letter. And, most probably, uh, which, you know, we don't know kung saan siya dito. Pero most probably, meron siyang uh, margin dito din. And nakalagay dito yung end of the column 2. So, for example, guys, kung i-modify natin to yung code natin. Instead na 6, uh, lagyan natin ng 7. So, basically, guys, kung titingnan natin yung total ng um, value nito, uh, dito is 13. So, titignan natin yung effect doon sa page natin. So, ito yung page. Now, ito yung magiging itsura niya, guys. So, meron na tayong column 1 dito sa taas and column 2 dito sa baba. So, basically, guys, yung ginawa ng page is uh, parang pinush or na-push yung column 2 dito sa baba. That's because hindi na total child yung values ng ating column 1 and column 2 because we have inserted or we have type um, 7 and 6, which is basically 13. And that's um, causing the effect na like this. Column 1 being the um, element na nasa taas and column 2 yung nasa baba. Okay? So, of course, guys, if you want to have like uh, different columns, you have 
columns, maybe three, four. If you could, uh, if you want to insert columns five, six, it it depends on you. So for example, maglalagay tayo dito ng another row. So div and meron siyang class na row. So again, guys, this is a step by step tutorial kung paano natin magamit yung Bootstrap. So yan. So meron tayo dito sa baba yung column one, column two. So, pwede natin itong kopyahin and ilagay natin dito sa first row natin. And instead of 7, say for example, gusto natin is um, 5 or maybe 6 columns yung page natin. So, pwede natin ilagay dito um, 2. Okay. So, this will be column 1. So, maglagay tayo ng different columns or another columns. 3. This is for 4, column 4. And this is column 5. And this is column 6. So, kung titingnan natin guys, yung values ng ating columns. Ito siya. 2, 4, 6, 8. Um, 10 uh, trebs. So, basically, yung magiging itsura nito, guys, is mag uh, parang mag-line up sila within a single row. So, tingnan natin siya. Save lang natin to. Save. Para hindi tayo mas uh, mahirapan para makita yung output natin. So, pwede natin medyo liitan yung VS Code natin. Tsaka, refresh natin itong page natin. Tingnan natin yung result. Hindi natin siya makita ng buo. Kasi, uh, naka, naka small yung page natin. So, pag naka malaki yung screen size, so makikita natin dito yung full capacity or yung arrangement ng columns natin. So, this column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4, 5, and 6, and meron silang the same value na 2 doon sa grid system natin. So, this is quite useful, guys. Uh, limbawa, kung gusto mo mag-arrange ng different components dito sa ating page, so you have to understand the basics of using the grid system. So basically guys, you could um, add columns, more columns, you could add like 12 columns, you could add 1, you could add 2, 3, 4, it depends upon your preference, yung number of columns. Okay, so you just have to make sure na yung totality ng value ng columns mo is to 12, otherwise yung columns will be pushed down doon sa original na row. Okay? And that's, I think, guys, para doon sa grid system ng um, bootstrap. So, yung next topic natin is all about typography. So, typography, guys, uh, basically, yun yung mga display natin na mga text. Okay? Kung ano yung size, yung line height ng text, yung uh, font family, yung pwede natin lagyan ng margins, padding, and so on. So, natakil natin yung H1 at saka H6 or hanggang H6. So, basically, meron silang um, different na sizes. Yung H1 being the biggest, H6 uh, being the smallest na heading. So, we, we already have uh, seen the effects or the what they call this the display of using h1 h2 h3 h4 and so on so uh, we'll just try this for example dito tayo sa column column one second row so maglagay tayo dito ng h1 okay for example this is heading 1. 
So, heading 1. Try natin ang 2. Kung gano'n ba siya kalaki. Sa actual page natin. Ayan. 4. Tsaka 5. Tsaka 6. So, again, this is... 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2. So, save natin siya. And, tingnan natin yung output niya dito. So, ayun guys, yung output ng headings. So, yung heading, yung pinakamalaki, yung heading 1, at saka yung heading uh, 6, yung pinakamaliit doon sa mga headings. Okay? And, of course, guys, dito sa typography, meron tayong display headings also so used to stand out more than normal headings so they, they could be larger font size and lighter font weight and there are four classes to choose from so meron tayong heading 1 2 and uh, 2 3 4 5 and 6 so meron din tayong tinatawag na display so halimbawa gusto natin siya uh, i-try so halimbawa ito Pihin lang natin. Lagyan natin siya ng class. Yung H1 natin, lagyan natin siya ng uh, class na display 1. Ayan. Classes. So, if you're familiar with HTML, guys, Alam mo na kung ano yung classes and ID. So, ito lang yung ginagamit natin as pang-target dun sa mga elements natin, yung classes and ID. So, halimbawa, gusto natin kunin lahat yung mga elements na merong display 1 at lagyan natin ng kulay. So, pwede natin gamitin itong class. Okay? Or yung ID, yung identification para dun sa ating mga uh, elements. So, for example, guys, uh, instead of H5, 6, try natin H1 to lahat. The same thing with this, H1, and um, plugin natin dito, 2, ito siya, 3, tsaka 4. This is display 1. So, kopihan lang natin to. So, display 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then, save natin yung code natin. And, balik tayo dito sa ating website. Kailangan lang natin siya i-refresh. And, this is the output of our um, display. So, I think we have a problem right here. Because, kulang. I think, meron tayong kulang. Okay. So, instead na H2, dapat wala na to siya. Ito din. Ayan. So, save and refresh our page. So, this is the actual display na dito sa ating um, web page. So, basically, ibang-iba siya dito sa ating heading 1 na nandito sa taas. Yung heading 1 or display 1 natin dito, uh, yung ginamit din natin na element is H1. Pero, matikikita natin kapag nag-apply tayo ng display 1, then, mas malaki yung um, text niya and mas manipis. So, meron siyang uh, makikita natin yung difference dito sa mga text natin. So, this is an introduction dun sa ano natin guys, sa typography. And of course, you can change yung font family. Kung halimbawa, hindi mo gusto yung font na ginamit sa website, pwede mo siya i-change. Okay? And I think you could, you know, use Google Fonts for that um, or other fonts na locally downloaded or gusto mong i-download sa website mo or something. So, you could use that. But in, in this particular video, guys, yung focus natin is... Uh, Introduction lang muna dito sa Bootstrap. Now, the next topic is all about colors.
So dito sa bootstrap meron din tayong tinatawag na colors. So dito na guys mas exciting yung um, page natin kapag na-applyan na siya ng color. So for example dito sa um, headings try natin siya lagyan ng class na merong color. So for example balik tayo dito sa, sa H1 lagyan natin siya ng class. So text muted. Okay? Save natin 'yan. So ito yung magiging itsura niya na guys or magiging color ng ating heading 1. So basically nag-add lang tayo dito ng class automatic yung CSS coming from Bootstrap in-apply niya dito sa ating H1. So try natin yung ibang color naman. Text primary for example. So save natin 'yan, text primary. And then refresh. So ayan magiging blue kasi yung primary color ng bootstrap is blue. And try natin yung iba pa. For example, copyhin lang natin to. So H3 ito din ilagay natin dito. And of course dito din. And dito. So instead of primary, this will be success. So titingnan natin mamaya yung effect. Uh, info tsaka ito warning uh, tsaka ito um, danger try not that so save and refresh our page so yan guys uh, nag add lang tayo ng class nagiging uh, ganito na yung itsura ng ating text or yung colors so meron tayong muted primary color blue Success color green. Info yung medyo bluish din. Tsaka ito yung yellow parang warning siya na text. And meron din tayong um, heading na uh, I mean color red para sa text dash danger. So basically guys hindi na tayo nag add pa ng uh, style or CSS. We're just using the CSS coming from bootstrap and in apply ng bootstrap dito sa ating mga text. So, I think yun lang guys para sa video na ito. This is part 1 lang para sa bootstrap na tutorial natin. If you want to learn more, meron tayong release para sa part 2 ng video na ito and we will explore more about bootstrap and perhaps we will build a real website using the bootstrap toolkit. So, if you're excited guys, please make sure na i-follow nyo yung uh, channel natin. You can hit the subscribe button and press the notification bell para mas maging updated kayo sa mga bago nating um, uploads regarding web technologies. Meron din tayong mga uh, online jobs na mga topics. So, if you are uh, if you are into that topics, then you could you know, subscribe and you could enable the notification so, yung tutorial natin guys, walang bullshit, walang, walang, wala nang paligoy-ligoy pa. We are, you know, directing talaga dun sa topic natin. So, yung topic natin in this video is all about um, bootstrap. So, basic of bootstrap and then we will explore more on these topics in the succeeding videos. So, again guys, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.